Check. The final feature on the processing stage is this slap button. You see with it pressed in, a little green light comes on to let me know that it's activated. What the slap button does, if you think that the B string button is located next to the bass knob, the slap button is located next to the treble one because it gives us an extra little boost of high frequency. Now if you listen to players like Marcus Miller, his slap tone Pick players like Geddy Lee or Matt Freeman from Rancid. Even guys like John Entwistle from The Who had these very bright, aggressive bass sounds. Whether they were playing slap, with aggressive finger style, or with a plectrum. gives that bite in the top end so my slap tone is really going to punch through a hell of a lot. So this added bit of brightness will really help your tone to cut through. It's especially useful if you have a passive bass because passive basses don't have a treble boost. You can cut the treble off to make the sound rounder and warmer but it's hard to really get a, a bright slap sound that's going to cut through or that really aggressive pick sound. So with the passive bass hitting the slap control in there well, give it that extra bit of brightness and punch to let it come through. I'll add the five string and the slap buttons. And what that will do is effectively increase the treble and increase the bass and see how that sounds. So yeah, that adds extra bite and aggression in the top end, extra fullness in the bottom. kind of things, these settings are things that you can add according to your taste, but the fact that they're there in the first place means if you have a problem, for example, you can't get enough definition, you simply hit the button in and it adds that top end.